So I've collected a few dry pieces of timber. The ground's a bit frozen, so I can't really get the poles in to make a teepee fire. But I've collected all the dry material from, from in the trees, rather than the ground. And then I'm gonna, got a bit of a swing going on here. This little twig bundle, just dry debris from the tree. So hopefully I'm gonna light this with a lighter and then lay it down there and hopefully this will catch. So, let's see how it goes. Another method of uh, starting a fire. Let's see how she takes. Lovely and dry, so it should do. Instant heat. Oh, lovely. Nicely, get a bit more uh, fuel in using these in a bit. I made these a while ago from uh, Birch Bowl. I quite enjoyed making them. They always come in handy now and again.
got that nice fire going and uh, gonna show you what I carry all the time it's a food I, I really like to keep in my bag because you can do so many things with eggs so I always carry six eggs with me my little uh, egg container so I brought a few eggs along today so I'm going to show you different methods in which I cook them different ways you know that you can cook an egg which makes a, a change to your meal if this is all you had you can cook them in different ways you know so you can uh, so the eggs don't become boring but I do like them you know they're quite easy to carry they're quite light and when you cook one off you know you can carry it in your pocket and have it as a snack which is uh, you know really nice for us to boil that now I could I could um, you know put it in my pocket like I just said and a uh, nice meal on the go so I'm gonna start cooking now I think it's gonna be eggs for breakfast I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them so we're gonna We're going to have a go at poaching, boiling, scrambling, frying and cooking a, an egg over, just over the fire with you know, no utensils. If you, if you had nothing and you still had your egg with you, we're going we're gonna to cook one over the fire. So first of all, I think we'll start with that one. So I'm going to get the egg. Just get me knife. So I'm just going to put a little little hole in the top of the egg. But you could, when you place it on the fire, which I'm going to do in a minute, you you, you don't have to bring a an egg cup holder. You could just make a little divot in the ground and place the egg in that. So make sure you've got quite a reasonable hole. So I've made quite a reasonable hole in the top of the egg. You know, you don't want a you don't want a small hole because you don't want the egg exploding over the fire. So that's what that's that done. And then I've got me nice uh, egg cup holder. Don't tell the wife because I've pinched this one this morning out the cupboard. She won't know, I don't think, if it don't turn too black. So we will start with this one first. I'll just make a little clearing in the fire. I found you don't want them placed too hot, you know, in, in a too hot zone because they do tend to uh, explode. So I'll keep that one going on there. So one egg contains 73% water, 12% protein. 11% fat and 1% minerals so it's quite a you know a nice little package packs a, a few elements in it and also when when an egg is bad the egg will float so you know because eggs are porous so the more the older the egg the more oxygen's got through the skin so the egg will float, so you know it's bad. So I'll put a couple of eggs in there. So this is the boiling method. And you can see my eggs are, my eggs um, have sunk. So we get this on the boil. So as you can see there we've two different methods of cooking an egg, boiling and uh, practically straight on the fire. Like I said if you didn't have the egg cup you could make a little divot in the ground, place it next to the fire. And if you didn't have a fire, you know, no form of cooking an egg, you can eat them raw, which is 
you know, another good bonus. You know, containing all that water, that's, you know, that's going to get you through the day. But I won't eat this raw this morning, it's a bit, a bit early for me. But they are nice raw. So now, put a little bit of oil, drizzle of that. We'll heat this oil up and we're going to do a fried egg. A little wooden spatula. I haven't mastered the one hand method yet, but I'm sure it will come. I'm especially lucky because I think this one's got a double yolk. So, very nice. I like, hope you like the punt. That's almost ready. I like them, uh, you know, the yolk runny, not, not hard, but I don't like them too, too slimy. Oh, got a splitter. So I'll enjoy this one. Get me fork. So what a lovely breakfast. Didn't take too long. Well, I've got a bit of salt with me as well. bit of salt on there. How nice is that? Mm. So if you guys don't always carry eggs, it's definitely something to consider. You know if you if you don't like them then obviously not but They are a good meal. Plus, if you had other products as well, you know you can you can mix and match. Done the uh, the fried option. I just enjoyed that. Now we're going to do scrambled. Scrambled over the campfire. So, you know, you've seen me in previous videos. You know, if you had different ingredients, ham, onions, peppers, you know, meat, you can add it all to a scrambled egg. But I haven't got them with me today, we're just gonna have a plain scrambled egg, which is still very nice. So you can see why I, um, I always carry six eggs with me. Tell me in your comments, you know, if you carry eggs or what's the best method you like, you know, do you like boiled, fried, poached, scrambled, 
or any other methods over the campfire, you know, using an egg. It's a very diverse product, that's why I wanted to do the, the video on it today, share it with you guys. Little frying pan, this. And I love this, uh, this little copper frying pan. I think it was, uh, no, it's been around a while. It still, still performs really well. Once it's hot, it's a bit like cast iron. It, it holds its heat really well. Great over a campfire. And it, I like the size because it fits really nicely in my um, rucksack, and it's nice and light. So I've had quite a hearty breakfast showing you <laughs> the different methods of cooking an egg. I'll probably be sick of eggs now. <laughs> Some boiled eggs, I think are boiling. Oh yeah, they're boiling lovely. So roughly three minutes now, that's how I how I like them. I'll chuck a bit of salt on here when this is done. Very nice. It's ready to serve. <laughs> I might have this in my little, uh, little kusk. I do like eating out of these. A lot of people, you know, well, we all drink coffee out of them, but I quite like eating out of them. Left a little bit for the for buster, a bit of seasoning. How nice is that? Mmm, very nice. So I've had me fried, now I'm on to be scrambled, and then my bald egg's nearly ready. I'm gonna supplement the boy's diet with a nice scrambled. Go on in, boy. Boiled eggs. in the morning you know if I was going for a walk or a canoe trip just chuck a couple of these in me in me little day bag and uh, like I said it's a nice portable meal so put this back on the fire it's still hot wait till it cool down really but I just wanted to show you quick my little knife Ooh. 
Ooh, she's hot. But that is, you know, a lovely parcel of food. Any time of the day. They're a bit fiddly when they're hot, but obviously when they cool down, you had to break it. As you know, break it really easy. A lovely snack, look at that. Cut that one open, show ya. Me wooden knife. Oh, look at that. So that's done how I like them. Nicely, uh, nicely cooked through, so perfect on the campfire. Oh, I might have this piece. You can see I do like an egg, a bit of salt. So I brought the water to a simmer. I'm going to do a poached egg now. I'll just crack the egg and put it straight into the simmering water. A bit sick of eggs now, but I'm going to give this one to the dog. So that's turned out nicely. It's a nice yolk in there as well. That's done nicely. Very nice. All over a campfire. I'm ecstatic. Another punt for you guys. Ecstatic. <laughs> Egg time. Keep up. made a bit of a mistake as well guys if you wonder if I wet myself but I left an egg in my pocket <laughs> and I kneeled down and it's it's crushed so I'm not only eating them I'm wearing them now <whistles> my baked eggs ready now that's been on the longest so it's taken the longest to cook I'll let that cool down and I'll, I'll eat that one so that's done well. So you've seen all different forms. Obviously the baked eggs take, take it the longest. I've enjoyed um, all of them. And uh, enjoyed sitting around the campfire showing you guys, you know, the different methods I use. And if you've got any different methods with eggs, you know, on their own, without adding, you know, any ingredients, you know, kindly share them with me so thanks for joining me guys I think I can stomach this baked egg now so that's filled me up for the day so thanks for coming around the campfire and you know any any cooking methods with eggs you know without adding ingredients you know I'd like to hear hear from you so thanks for joining me Enjoy the great outdoors guys, I'm going to enjoy this now, cheers. Excellent, cheers guys. <laughs>